Hi, welcome or welcome back to Cammy's Closet. I'm so glad you're with me this morning. Um, it's nice and early and I'm getting ready to leave the house and I figured I would give a very quick review of a bag that I just recently purchased. Um, when I say recently, I've had this bag in my closet for a few months. So I didn't actually, um, just recently, but if you consider that recent, I just purchased it about three months ago. I haven't used it because I've been waiting to start up my videos. So if you see me reviewing and unboxing several bags at, in a short period of time, it's not because I have it like that. I don't buy a bag a week. I've had a few bags just over the last six months sitting around waiting for me to get up the nerve to make videos. So now I'm gonna be like bombarding everybody with everything I've received over the last you know six months maybe even longer in any case i wanted to say that i appreciate all the views i appreciate the likes the subscribing it's really cool um and i learned two very important things while doing these videos first most importantly this is not easy this is really difficult it's hard you get on the screen you don't want to have to redo the video a thousand times. So as far as I'm concerned, it's one take. Whatever happens, happens. Hopefully it won't be a disaster. Uh, so that was the first thing I learned. Doing this is very difficult. Um, it's not easy. You, you, you get tongue tied, you forget what you want to say, you, you, you get a loss for words. So, you know, like I said, just bear with me. I don't know how to do the editing yet. So, it, you know, this is me, love it or leave it, right? Um, and secondly, second most important thing I learned while doing this is I have more than one chin. I never realized that. But when you're watching yourself on video, you see a lot of things you never realized about yourself. So the video does add 10 pounds, I kid you not. Anyway. Let me get to why I'm here. I have been wanting this Loewe puzzle bag, the small, for a very, very long time, probably well over a year. Um, it's, it's a quite, uh, it's a high price point bag. And um, I always said, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on anything other than like a Louis Vuitton. Um, Cause I feel like that's, you know, those bags, well, I don't know if they're actually worth it anymore and their increases are ridiculous, but I always said, you know, I'll pay for a Louis Vuitton because the resale value is really good. Not that you should buy a bag just because you could sell it. You have to buy a bag because you love it, but you want to add that in because these are kind of pricey. So I said, I wouldn't buy anything in this price point that wasn't a Louis Vuitton. Um, I don't go near Chanel. I don't go near Hermes. I don't have it like that. Um, maybe one day down the road, I don't know, but right now I have to keep it, you know, within reason for me. For you, it might not be within reason, but for me, within reason. In any case, this puzzle bag just caught my attention. I've been watching a handful of videos on the small, not the mini. I bought the mini and I sent it back because it was just, it was silly. Um, but the small is such a beautiful size. And I said, you know, I just, I have to, I feel like I have to get this bag. I have to get it in my possession and see what everyone's talking about. So I went ahead and um, a little over a month ago, I purchased it. I bought it from Bergdorf Goodman. And of course I never pay full price. I will never pay full price for any bag except Louis Vuitton because you can't get Louis Vuitton on sale. So this bag, um, Bergdorf Goodman gave me 10% off, which is huge. They gave me 10% off because they botched up a previous order. So I got that. Then I went through Rakuten. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Rakuten. It used to be Ebates. They give you cash back for everything you spend. And sometimes they have 2% back, 3%, 6%. Often on these higher end uh, department stores, they have 10%. So I grabbed it when they were doing 10% back. So now I have 20% back, okay? When I received the bag, I thought it was packed like crap. 
I don't have the packaging because it's been a while, so I got rid of it. So I'm actually not doing an unboxing. I'm doing kind of an unbagging um, today because I'm going to use the bag today so I can get a good idea of really how it, how it works out. Um, in any case, as I was saying, it was packaged horrible. I said, for a bag of this price point, you shove it in a dust bag. There's no plastic around the hardware. Um, it had some tissue inside. I believe that it might have been returned and then, you know, sent to me. So I call and I say, I'm not happy about this. A bag of this price point, this is how you send it? Like, like, it's, like it's, you know, like a $10 bag. How do you send that? It, it's ridiculous. So... They gave me an additional, if I kept the bag, an additional $120 off. So if you take 20% plus another $120 off, you're getting the bag with tax close to $700 off retail price. So I thought that's a bargain. I definitely said, okay, it's worth it. Um, now let me see if the bag is actually worth it. So I'm going to show it to you. Here's the bag, the dust bag. Plus it has the little Loewe uh, anagram. And this is the Loewe puzzle, small, in black. The reason I got black was, again, because it's a high price point and I try to stay away from light colors because if I got ink on it or dye, I would have a stroke. I can't, I can't worry about it. I have to enjoy my bags. I have to use my bags. I don't want to have a bag that I'm going to have to carry around in like a baby sack. I, I, I can't. Um, so this is the Lueve Puzzle Small. Let me just get rid of the dust bag. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's beautiful. Why is it beautiful? Because it's Loewe? No. It's beautiful because it has very unique design. You don't find this design too often in a bag that's hanging in TJ Maxx. Although they do carry these, you know, they have these um, online runway on sale. You can find them sometimes. In any case, it's a very unique design, geometric design in the front. And on the side and it has this flap this is the older version so the the anagram is in white I heard somebody ask if anyone had an issue with the white um, anagram cracking or peeling or coming off I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case because no that's not acceptable on a bag of this you know price point in any case this bag is it, 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 the leather is amazing. It's like a baby's tush. When you you touch this leather, it's 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 second to none. It really it's it's so soft. It's smooth. Um, it has palladium silver hardware. The strap, um, the zipper, is very smooth. I have inside. I have the receipt. And I have some tissue paper. Here we go. It has uh, a, a very large, um, you know, inside, large capacity. It has one pocket. Um, again, I don't know. It, the newer small is a little bit different, and it's also $200 more, which is, you know, an unne unnecessary, really. It's the same exact bag, but any case. Any case. So it has a, a zipper pull. You could... <laughs> Close it, which closes very smooth, very smooth, and then the flap over it, so you hide it. It has a little bit of a slouch to it. Um, a lot of people talk about whether, you know, that they like that or they don't. I happen to think it looks really nice when it slouches. Um, then on the back, along with the geometric, it has a zipper here. I'm not sure what fits in there. I'm going to see. I have a, 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 the iPhone 6. I'm going to see if it goes in. It actually, it fits comfortably. It's not hidden, but you know what? You're always grabbing your phone anyway. So for me, it's in deep enough where it's definitely not going to fall out. So that's not a bad, you know, place to keep it. Other than that, you could probably keep, um, you know, hand sanitizer and close it up. 
I could probably keep my keys because I just have, um, on the weekends when I'm not at work, I just carry my car key and my house key. This absolutely fits in that pocket very easily and it could be zipped up. Um, little mini Motrin, which actually has Tylenol inside because I don't like to take Motrin. Uh, this actually fits right in there and it could be zipped up. So that back pocket holds, could hold quite a bit. Um, the strap, the strap is um, adjustable and detachable. And I have it on the second hole. And it has one, two, three, four. It has four holes. So again, this is a very uh, uh, flexible strap for women that are small, tall, medium height. It'll probably work for everybody. Um, I'll show you a mod shot in a minute. I have it on the second hole. That's where it came. I didn't adjust it, so we'll see. Um, it has the little uh, Loewe anagram. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And it has a top handle, which is like rolled leather, very comfortable. You could hold it like this. You would be able to hold it in the crook of your arm. You could do it on your shoulder on the shortest strap or crossbody, of course. Um, I'm going to push you guys away real quick so I can do a mod shot and show you. Again, I'm five foot one. Well, yeah, five foot two, but again, my husband says five foot one, but we'll say five foot two. I'm going to move you back. Don't get dizzy. And I'm going to show you how the bag looks. I wore a red shirt and black pants. I thought that would be a nice combo with this bag. So on the second hole, on the shoulder, it comes down to my, uh, to my hip. And when I crossbody it, it's at a good spot. It comes down to my hip, very comfortable. The strap is comfortable, not too thin. The bag is very lightweight. Now, if I wanted to hold it by the top handle and I put my arm straight, the strap doesn't hit the floor, so there's no issue with that. I could hold it like that. I could put it in the crook of my arm, which is a nice, comfortable way to carry it. Have your hands free if you don't want to cross body, but you need your hands free. It fits very comfortable in the crook of my arm. So I, I appreciate uh, the versatility. Let me come back to you guys. Okay, so I did not come prepared with the measurements. Shame on me, but I'm not gonna stop the video because I don't know. I, I don't know how to splice. Again, I don't know how to edit. So I don't have the measurements in front of me, but if you look on the Loewe site or any other site that sells the Loewe puzzle bag small, it will give you the exact measurements. I can put the measurements in the comment section when I get them. So if you're very interested after I do the video, I'll put them in the comment section because again, I'm not sure exactly how to get the, um, my information down below without using the comments. If you know someone wants to comment on how to do that, I'd be more than happy to be you know um, directed. Anyway, something important about this bag that I have to let you know that other YouTubers mentioned as well. Um, it's a adjustable strap and it's detachable. However, it doesn't have swivel. If you could see that, it doesn't swivel. So if you don't attach them with the strap straight from the beginning, the first time you attach it, the strap could be twisted. And that is a very big issue for me. Um, so I thought about it and I said, for a bag of this price point, they don't put swivel. So if you have to struggle attaching your strap and then it's gonna be twisted, I don't know about that. that. That could bother me. However, the bag is so beautiful. The leather is so um, luxurious. And I said, you know what? I always wear it crossbody. I probably won't remove the strap. 
I never wear it on my shoulder because that's just not how I wear my bags. Um, so I attached it once and it'll be good to go. So I just want to mention that that could be an issue for some people. Um, and I'm very surprised that a bag like this would not use the, um, the swivel hardware. So it wouldn't, you know, matter how you attach it. Anyway, I am going to be leaving soon. So I'm going to open up the bag and I'm going to put in the things I'm taking today. I have my zippy wallet. I have my hand sanitizer. My cell phone. My sunglasses case slips right in. You never know when you're going to get a headache. And my keys. Sometimes it's not heavy. I know it's hard to tell, the light's not that great, but everything fit in here very, very easily. Yeah, you can't really tell. Everything fit in very easily. There's plenty of room for more. And I'm probably, I'm definitely, not probably, I'm definitely gonna get a purse organizer for this bag because it's beige interior. And I wanna make sure that I keep it clean and nothing happens to the inside. Um, so there you have it. The Lueve puzzle bag in size small in the black. It's the um, older edition. It has the white an anagram, not just the plain in print. Um, the back, the sides, the front, beautiful leather. I think this is a keeper. I didn't remove the tags yet um, and I was contemplating um, just because of the way it came, I was a little bit, you know, annoyed, but I got a good deal. I, you know, it, it's still a very expensive bag. Those of you who know, know um, what this bag goes for retail. Um, but it is, it's absolutely beautiful and I'm looking forward to using it today. So thanks for coming back to Cammy's Closet. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the views. I appreciate subscribing and just, you know, Leave me a comment. Tell me how you think I'm doing. Have a great day.